so now I have my uh, laptop here, I have my power uh, plugged into the wall, and we're just going to have a look and see uh, what happens when you first power on. So the power goes into the power socket like this. Now there are two fans uh, inside the AQY. One of the fans is for the particle monitor, and the other fan is for the ozone sensor. You can hear the fan for the particle monitor. It's continuous, it's always running. And the fan for the ozone sensor uh, turns on and off. It comes on for about 30 seconds, and then it goes off for about 30 seconds. So you can hear it come on and off. There are no LEDs on the outside, uh, so we know that we will have a successful connection um, because what we're going to do is have a look and see the AQY appear uh, as a Wi-Fi network in our PC's list of available Wi-Fi networks. So to do that, it's no different than if you were in your office or at home or in a cafe. Just have a look in your PC's list of Wi-Fi networks and you should see the AQY appear as an available Wi-Fi network. So let's have a look and see if we can uh, bring it up. Okay, here we are. So we can see at the moment that I'm connected to my office Wi-Fi network. The name of my office Wi-Fi network is just Aeroqual. It is in fact this AQY. It is broadcasting a Wi-Fi network and we can connect to that Wi-Fi network. So just click on the Wi-Fi network, click connect. Uh, the password, the default password should be Aeroqual with a capital A. So that's a E R O Q U A L. Click next. Click yes. It might take 30 seconds or so for your PC to connect to the, the network that the AQI is broadcasting. Just remember that now we have detached your PC's Wi Fi network from your office Wi Fi and we've connected it to the AQY. So your PC during this phase uh, will not have access to the internet. Okay, so that's still taking a little bit of time. Uh, so my PC has told me that uh, it's got a connection to the AQY demo 001, and it's saying no internet, which makes sense because we're connected directly point to point to the AQY. So the next step is to simply open up an internet browser. It could be Google Chrome or it could be Edge any or Safari if you're on a Mac. And go up into the address bar and simply type 10.10.0.1. 10.10.0.1 is the local IP address of your AQY. Your AQI is in fact a web server, so there's no need to download any software for use from the AQI as long as you have an internet browser, whether it's on your laptop or your smartphone or a tablet, you have all the software you need. Okay, so once your connection has been established, you'll be presented with a login screen, the uh, default login credentials for the username, uh, administrator, administrator, and the default password is A Q M A D M I N, and it's perfectly easy to go in later on and remove those default credentials and replace them with a more secure username and password, just like you should do with any device which comes with a, a set of default credentials. But you have to start somewhere. Great, okay, so what you should see uh, after you've logged in as an administrator is five uh, panels on the screen. These are five uh, application, application parts to the software. Uh, manage data, calibration and service, configure instrument, diagnostics and advanced, and administration. Administration is where you would go to change the default credentials. Uh, we can do that a little bit later. 
But if you want to have a very quick look and see some data coming through, the best way to do that is to click on the Calibration and Service app, like this, and then click on the Manual Entry. And then you should start to see real-time measurements coming through. So you should be able to see your NO2 readings, your OX readings, ozone, the temperature RH and dew point. And we'll talk about what all the other what all these readings mean uh, in a different video. So if you've managed to get this far, you've managed to connect to the Wi-Fi network, you've managed to log in with the administration password, and you've clicked on the calibration and service app and you can see some readings coming through in the real-time screen then we've done a really good job you've done most of the work the next part uh, would be to try to connect your AQY to your own office Wi-Fi network that would give the AQY access to the internet which would mean that it would connect to the Aeroqual cloud server and that means that the Aeroco engineers back here in New Zealand can log on to your instrument and just confirm everything is okay. So you should have received from Aeroqual login access to the cloud.aeroqual.com. This will allow you to see your instrument online once you put it online. Then the very next step we're going to do right now is to show you uh, how to use your own Wi-Fi network to connect it to the internet.